Hello and welcome. Here we will see how to execute a Python script from C Sharp. We have two options for that. The first one, we need to create a process to execute the script. And for this, we need to have Python installed in the system. The second one is using Iron Python. Iron Python is a implementation of Python in .NET and we need to install the libraries in our project. And the steps for the first option are very simple. We need to create a process, we need to provide the location of python.exe, we need to provide the script and we need to provide the arguments. Finally, we can execute. In other words, we need to install Python in the system, then we need to create a process for Python, we provide the script and the arguments, we do some configurations like redirecting the output and we execute the process and get the output. Finally, we can display the output to the end user. Here at Visual Studio, I already have this run Python script from CS, is a console project, is a simple console project, and I have this program, that is the default file, ok, I have the main, and inside the main I am calling the method option 1 exact process and option 2 iron python, ok, these two methods are empty and is here where we will do our code, I have just the steps, the commands for the steps, so let's do something here. So the first thing that we will do is is creating a process start info. So var psi is equals to new process start info and we need to import system.diagnostics and now we need to say the path, the location of Python. So psi dot file name is equals to something, a string that we don't know yet. I go to Python installation folder, we need to install Python first for this option, ok? and I copy the path, I go here and paste, I know that the executable is called python.exe, right, and we need a add here. The next step is providing the script and the argument. So var script is equals to something that we don't know yet. I have the script in these folders, days between dates. Let me copy this and put here. Let me copy the name of the file. We will see what it is, ok? And we need a at here. The script it receives two arguments, the first one is the date start, the second is the date end, and then it converts the string into dates, right, because they are strings, it does calculation of days between these two dates, and then it prints the start date, the end date, and the days between those dates, is just that. So we have here the path of the script, next we need to assign the variable. So var start is equals 2019 month 1 day 1. Var end is equals to 2019 month 1 day 22. Okay, and now we can say psi dot arguments are equals to something. Let's put here a dollar sign and we say script and we need another for the argument start and another for the argument end. Now let's do the step number three, process configuration. And we say psi dot use shall execute and we say false. We say psi dot create no window and we say true. Doesn't will open another window, ok? And psi dot redirect standard output and we say true. We want to receive the print lines from the script and also just in case psi redirect standard error. True is true. If any error happens in the script we will receive it. Now let's do the step number four, execute the process and get the output. To get the output we need some variables, ok? So we will declare here errors and is equals to a empty string, we declare results that is equals to empty string, we will using a var that is the process and it is equals to process dot start what? 
process start info okay psi and inside we say errors are equals to process dot standard error dot read to end results are equals to process standard output dot read to end and now we just have to display this to the end user I'm a little lazy so I will copy and paste here because this is just console write lines okay so now we can click on start and we got this result execute python process errors nothing result start date and date and we have days between 21 days okay just to review we needed to create a process like this and provide the path of python after that we provided the script and the arguments and we did some configurations like redirect the output finally we can start the process and get the output and display it to the end user now let's see how iron python option works first we need to install iron python and create a iron python engine object then we provide the script we provide the arguments and finally we can execute in other words we need to install iron python in our project then we create a engine object we provide the script and the arguments we redirect the output and execute the script and finally we can display these to the user now let's do the iron python part okay but before starting doing some code we need to install the iron python library so we go to tools and nugget package manager and we select manage nugget package for solution we go to browse and we search for iron python and we choose the first one that appears we will install it on run python script from cs my project right install we accept and is installed okay we can close this now and we can start here so create the engine we say var engine equals python dot create engine and we need to import iron python dot hosting now let's go to the second step provide the script and the arguments var script is equals to because is the same script as the previous one we just copy and paste okay now we can say source and we call engine dot create script source from file and we pass the script for the arguments we declare a list of string argv is equals to list of string then we need to add the parameters so the first one will be usually the name of the file okay this name but since for us this is not important so i will pass empty okay and the second one will be the first date and the third will be the second date so i will copy and paste okay is just that now we will pass argv engine dot get system module dot set variable arg v and we pass the arg v now we will redirect the output and we say for eio is equals to engine dot runtime dot io so we don't have to do this code again and again next var errors is equals to new memory stream we need to import system dot io and we say eio dot set error output we pass errors and we say that encoding and we need to import system.text.default for the results is almost the same thing can copy these and we paste here and let me change results and instead of set error output is just set output and results here now let's execute the script so we go here to the section of execute script and say var scope is equals to engine dot create scope and we can say source dot execute and we pass the scope 
okay this scope is optional okay but i'm using this to show you something okay and the final part display the output i will just copy and paste and i will explain the code because there is some stuff that is different well the first thing that i'm doing here is declaring a local function okay this is a new feature of c sharp 7 I think and what I am seeing here is we have a function called str that returns a string and receives a byte array called x then inside it will call encoding.default.getString from x okay then we have here the right lines okay and we call here str and we pass errors dot to array and here results dot to array is just that now we are ready to run this but before let me put here a breakpoint because i want to show you something this scope okay so now we can run and it stops here let's see the variable scope and this scope has 11 variables and if you see here we have access to all the variables of the script okay the end the start the date as doc file everything okay if you need to get some variables from the script you can get from here okay and now let's continue and we got this result okay it's almost the same thing as the previous case well from my experience with python i guess that iron python understands the syntax of python 2 not python 3 okay and i did the code in a way that it can run in python 2 and also in python 3 okay i'm not sure about this but i'm thinking this is the reason of this result just to review we needed to create the engine by calling python.create engine then we provided the script and the arguments by creating a source object and creating a list of string for the arguments and then we set two system modules then we needed to redirect the output for this we created a memory stream and we executed the script this scope is optional okay you can use this scope to get the variables of the script the values of the variables of the script it's very useful for that finally we can display these to the end user this is the end you can download the source code the link is in the description like subscribe and leave a comment if you want and as always thank you for watching